Okay, so now we get on to a bit of some electric circuits. And there's often questions about ratios, okay? And these are often a bit tricky. So first of all, uh, what have I done? Well, I've looked at the combined resistance of this circuit, which if it's in series, RT is equal to R plus 2R, which is 3R. So that's got a com combined resistance of 3R. This one here, I used product over sum. So you've got two resistors in parallel. And therefore the combined resistance is equal to the product, which is R times 2R, which is 2R squared, over their sum, which is R plus 2R. So 2R squared over 3R, which is 2 thirds R. I then looked at, basically, we know the equation V equals I times R, or I is equal to V over R, because we want to look at the ratios of the currents. Basically, when you have a higher resistance, you have a lower current, and these two things must have the same potential difference. So effectively, the current in circuit number one, which is the one up here, so we're looking at the ratio of 1 to 2. 1, uh, it's got a current of V over 3R. And this one has a value of V over 2 thirds R. So uh, effectively the Vs cancel. And then you've got basically a third over 3 over 2, which is, this is because 1 over 2 thirds is equal to 3 over 2. This time I just, uh, I could have done it properly with fractions, but I just put the numbers into my calculator. So a third divided by 3 over 2, which gave a value of 0 0.22. And that's the ratio. Basically, um, yeah, that's the number. Uh, the next bit, okay, I don't think this is a great question. Um, can you explain that? Well, first of all, I'm going to start out, and I'm going to draw the graph on here so that whoever's marking this knows that I know my IV characteristics. These are the IV characteristics for a filament lamp. And basically, as the resistance of the lamp increases, uh, well, basically, the, as the current increases, the resistance increases. And this is due to the greater temperature. Effectively, the, um, the more electrons you have, the more current flowing in that circuit, the more the electrons collide with the, with the metal lattice, causing it to vibrate more and therefore having a greater resistance. Uh, and therefore they are non-ohmic conductors. So within my answer here about the resistance of the lamp increases, we're mentioning this is due to the greater temperature uh, and therefore they're non-ohmic conductors, which is why if you double the EMF, you don't necessarily double the current. Okay, this one here, um, again, a bit of a multi-step uh, calculation. First of all, um, we want to know the resistivity. So you've got um, things like the current and the potential difference, so you can work out the resistance. And again, you must always leave this to all the significant figures in your calculator. So you might write down a, an intermediate answer, but make sure you always put all the significant figures or keep them in your calculator or store them in the memory. Then uh, resistivity equals RA over L. Uh, put the numbers in and you get a value of 1.2 times 10 to the minus five ohm meters. There we go. Uh, next bit, the, resisti the resistivity of the metal is larger than the value predicted by the researcher. Explain one possible limitation. So if it says one, just do one. Well, provided uh, we maybe have the same length of wire and the same area, that means that the resistivity is proportional to the resistance that we've measured. And you might say that perhaps there's resistance due to the crocodile clips that you have in the circuit. Uh, and that means the resistance uh, value is too high, which means that your resistivity is too high. Or perhaps you might talk about the fact that maybe the wire heats up. So if you have a current flowing through the wire, the resistance increases with temperature, and that would then give you a higher value for your resistivity. So a couple of things there, but basically take one of those and explain it really well. And that's the end of that question. And the next question is all about waves.